Okay, coffee talk time with my old friend Tony Scheffler. Cheers, Let's man. try the Stella Blue first. Yeah. Oh, that's some hot, good coffee. Hot. hot coffee, good coffee. We're sitting on the Chevy Silverado EV RST. And first of all, do you like the coffee? Or do you love the coffee? Uh, I'm a dark roast guy, that electric cab is. That's what I gave him. Yeah. That's what I gave With him. With a mustache, I don't think you can go anything less. Nope. So my first question is, I want to go back in time. Uh -oh. First time Tony Scheffler and I ever met was, oh man, was it eight, nine, nine years ago. Uh, I walked in to, we were on a bachelor party mm -hmm. of a certain quarterback. I walked into the room, they were, I, I was the last one there, so they'd already split up the rooms. Laptop in hand. You Laptop in hand, you were just laying on the bed, and I was like, what's up, man? He's like, I'm Tony Scheffler, I'm your roommate. I was like, great. And now we're sitting man. doing a coffee talk for my coffee on a Chevy Silverado R, uh, EV RST. Did you ever think I could do that? You ever think I'd get uh... here? Look at us. I had faith in you. You know, we were at a bachelor party and you were working the entire time. That's true. Blackhawks um, were in the a Stanley Cup run. They beat your Red Wings. I believe you were talking about blog never sleeps. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You may have said that 700 times on that trip. <laughs> That's a uh, fact. I had faith in you. Yeah. I had faith. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was 10 years ago. I think it was a full decade. It was 2013, I believe. It's been a while. It's been a wild ride, man. Uh, ups and downs. Uh, mostly downs. Mostly downs. I have another funny story to tell you about that trip. <laughs> So I remember um, you were about to go to training camp and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, gotta, I gotta lose like a quick 10 pounds, get back in shape. I'm just gonna eat some chicken and, and drink some green juice and I'll be back in shape. And I was like, oh man, I'm gonna do that diet too. And I tried it and I didn't lose any weight. And I said uh, to someone after, I was like, yeah, Tony told me this diet. And they were like, you realize Tony's like, oh, an athletic freak. He's like a freak of nature. Like you're just a, a fat blogger. Of course you didn't lose the weight that he lost. Uh, hey. <laughs> it was, I was like, I'll just do the Tony Scheffler diet and I'll look great. There's, you took a certain path and I took a different <laughs> one. Uh, but here we are. Here we are sitting on the back of the Chevy Silverado EV. Here we are. Looking great. What a truck. Yeah. Unbelievable Are you truck. kidding me? Are you going to get one? Are you kidding me? Are you going to get one? Uh, I think I need to. You pull up. So Tony, for people who don't know, uh, retired from the NFL. Some may say it was the two-on-one game in his park, in his uh, driveway with Dave. Um, you know how often does you know that that's get, on my Wikipedia? How often does that get brought up? That's the <laughs> when, when you're scrolling my Wikipedia. That's that's where you end. <laughs> and you. there's quotes from Del Curry. Where, like, at what point was Del Curry commenting on that? <laughs> I don't know. The greatest shooting exhibition he's ever seen <laughs> by Dave Portnoy. Like, when? At what point? It never happened. So uh, wait, how often, like? On a monthly basis, will someone bring uh, that up? No one, no one remembers the eight years in the NFL. It's you're that guy from that <laughs> lost to those guys. You're that guy that lost to those guys. <laughs> you told me and you then, texted me once. You're like checking out at like a sporting goods store. Yeah, it's once a, once a week. Once a week, and, and like the kid, the, like the 16 year old kid checking you out was like, "Hey, aren't you the guy that lost to Dave and Big Cat?" Oh, and you're man. just like, "God damn it!" It's uh, <laughs> yeah, and then my career ended. Couple weeks after, yep. no surprise. <laughs> yeah, I was. I do feel a little bad about it, but you're an incredible uh, high school girls basketball coach now. Yeah. Varsity. Fifty-eight and nine. Nobody's counting. Fifty-eight and nine. Nobody's counting though. Three and years. one of those, lo it's actually fifty-eight and eight. If you take out the game that I tried to give a pep talk and then you lost by forty. Well, you've been involved. You've been heavily involved the last three years. Yeah. Um, Multiple videos, A Rod, J Lo, uh, I forgot it. Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, you really, you really came through for the Bulldogs uh, in big games. Um, but yeah, you have also hurt us. Well. Yeah, well, and also I've been a, your Twitter police too. Correct. There was that one time where someone was accusing you guys of running up the score. Correct. And all of a sudden, people were like, "Why is Big Cat getting in Twitter fights with?" Uh, high, girls High School Michigan uh, Twitter like beat reporters. Just in the shadow. Yeah, I was like, it was like you play to win the game. I was just responding to random people. In the shadows, <laughs> just ready to pounce. Ready to pounce. Like a great friend. Ready to pounce. You didn't even ask for it. I was just like, this is bullshit. I know that. The, I know he doesn't coach like that. He coaches his players the same way. Correct. Respect, but play to win, and that's the way it goes. The basketball gods. Yes, exactly. So, you mm. feeling good with the coffee? I feel good, man. I, uh, I'm really excited about your your adventure through the coffee and been following and 
Uh, really happy for you. Man. Yeah, and Good I got, stuff. I gave some to Dan Campbell. So let's let's end with this. You are a Lions alum. You're a Michigan uh, native. How are you feeling? Let's predict the Lions season. Not same old Lions, right? No, heck no. Okay. Because uh, you are the Lions. You were on the team that went. No, they went to the playoffs twice. In I the think last 2011 season. we went to yeah. we lost in New Orleans. Yep. Um, under Jim Schwartz, that was a heck of a team, man. Heck of a team. Jim Schwartz's nipples were always just popping. What a dog. When him and Harbaugh peacocked up. Oh, man, yeah. What a moment. <laughs> yeah, you were there, what right? What a moment, yeah. Yeah. Uh, against the 49ers. Uh, yeah, I, man, this town, the state's excited for the team. Um, a lot of young talent. Um, and it's a team that, like, you know, didn't have high expectation in the beginning. So I, I love that they just keep proving people wrong uh, within the locker room. Yeah, so uh, what are we saying? 11 wins, NFC North? Got to. I think this is the year, man. Okay. Got to go out there and get it. NFC North, unless Justin Fields becomes the MVP, which he could. Ah, uh, man, he's got to stay healthy. He could. He could, though. No. You never know. Not on that track. All right, so NFC North for the Lions. Tony Scheffler, one of my, my very good friends, longtime supporter of everything I do. Coffee talk. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yeah.